<coughs> Heinem and Heyer, chapter 8 in the quadratic functions, exercise 8k, then mixed questions at the end. Number 12, another form of higher question. Given that k is a real number, show that the roots of this equation are always real. Always real number, it actually says. Now, it's not giving me any indication to begin with of what the discriminant should equal. So I'll just have to put down an expression with the discriminant and wait and see how it turns out. But first of all, that's no use. I need to put kx squared plus 3x plus 3 minus k equals 0. And then maybe I'll just put those bits together to emphasise the c part of it. a, b, c. And now, I'm not going to make a statement saying the discriminant should be greater than or equal to or whatever. I'll just have to wait and see what it turns out to be. So what does this discriminant turn out to be? Well, b is 3, so I've got 3 squared. 4 times a is k. And c is the constant the end, 3 minus k. Not equal to anything. It's just an expression, and I'll wait to see if I can see that that's either going to be positive or negative or whatever. So I've got 9 minus, and I've got 12k. And then minus, same the end, times a negative k, so plus 4k squared. Just rewrite that. 4k squared minus 12k plus 9. Now the obvious thing to do here would be complete the square. Unless, of course, it already is a square. And this one is. Because that's 2k times 2k, 3 times 3, and then negative times negative. So I've got 2k minus 3 squared. And then straight away, the square of anything cannot be negative, which means the discriminant here is always greater than or at worst zero, in which case you've always got real answers. Maybe just one, but at least always real answers. So how do I express that? I would just say this. b squared minus 4ac is always greater than or equal to zero, since any square is always greater than or equal to zero. You can even just put anything square, but I'll just specify it since that must be greater than or equal to zero. And if the discriminant is always greater than or equal to zero, that means that the roots are always real. They may be coincident, they may be distinct, they may be equal, they may be unequal, but they'll be real. There it is, question 12.